Hi, my name is Claire, and I'm the chaplain at St. Jude's Anglican Care Home and the community director of Hineni House, a ministry of St. Margaret's Cedar Cottage, both of which are located in the Diocese of New Westminster in British Columbia, Canada, a part of the Anglican Church of Canada. I'm also a Celtic harpist, singer, and composer. Last year, I put together a short liturgy for the residents of St. Jude's, which I called Evening in the Garden of Gethsemane. This year, I thought I'd share it with all of you. We're, uh, we're called to do a lot of waiting at this time. We might be waiting for the ones we love or ourselves to get better from many, many different illnesses, COVID-19 or other kinds of illnesses that have come upon us at this time. We might be waiting for news. We might be waiting for all of this to end. We might be waiting for a break in our work. There are so many of us that are essential workers that are putting in long hours so the rest of us can have what we need during this time. And uh, that means that we might actually know in a brand new way how it felt to be Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, waiting for what we knew was going to come and hoping that it would be better than we thought it would be, and maybe sometimes it's not. So we can use this time of Holy Week to fully live into the story in a way that few of us have probably had the opportunity to do. So uh, the readings that we use in this service are from the book of Isaiah, the letter to the Hebrews, and the Gospel of Matthew. And the music is from the Teze community in France. I invite you to join in as you feel called to join in. Um, if you want to sing along, you're more than welcome to. If you want to just listen and watch. That's okay too. If you want to do this alone, if you want to invite other people who are in your place, if you want to send it along, it's all fine. It's all good. However we come together, we're still together. And remember that however you're able to pray, your prayers are most, most precious to God. So enjoy this service. Let's just begin by taking a few deep breaths. We can center ourselves wherever you're listening. Breathe in. Once for the Father. And breathe in. For the Son. And once for the Holy Spirit, the breath that enlivens all of us. And we'll begin. Holy God, source of all love, on the night of his betrayal, Jesus gave his disciples a new commandment, to love one another as he loved them. Write this commandment in our hearts Give us the will to serve others as he was the servant of all, who gave his life and died for us, yet is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>
A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. can 
find its rest, find its rest and peace. In God alone my soul can find rest and peace. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. When they had sung the hymn, Jesus and the disciples went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Though all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. 
and so said all the disciples. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So, could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away for the second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Gethsemane by Mary Oliver The grass never sleeps, or the roses, nor does the lily have a secret eye that shuts until morning. Jesus said, Wait with me. But the disciples slept. The cricket has such splendid fringe on his feet. And it sings, have you noticed, with its whole body. And heaven knows if it ever sleeps. Jesus said, wait with me. And maybe the stars did. Maybe the wind wound itself into a silver tree and didn't move. Maybe the lake, far away, where once he walked, as on a blue pavement, lay still and waited, wild awake. Oh, the dear bodies, slumped and eye shut, that could not keep that vigil. How they must have wept, so utterly human, knowing this too must be part of the story. Let us offer our praises and prayers to the one who intercedes for us, saying, Lamb of God, we praise you. Lord Jesus, you embraced the cross so that we might learn to give our lives for the sake of love. Lamb of God, we praise you. Innocent captive, you submitted to the judgment of sinners. Lamb of God, we praise you. In the hour of death, you heard the penitent thief and opened to him the door of paradise. Lamb of God, we praise you. Most merciful Savior, you have known the pain of abandonment. Lamb of God, we praise you. Lord, you love all whom God has made and gave up your own self for them. Lamb of God, we praise you. Through your self-offering, you have brought the crown of life 
to all people. Lamb of God, we praise you. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as Jesus taught us, in the language closest to our heart. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards humankind hast sent thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, that all humankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come into your kingdom.